So today, it's, start, it's starting to get a little bit cold outside, so we're gonna wrap up our our filter and our pressure regulator and everything, and we got a new pressure regulator. So we're gonna walk you through this process and tell you about everything. This is our old water pressure regulator. This one does not have a, a set PSI. It varies between 40 to 50 PSI. And this is our old 90. They both have a smaller diameter inside, so that restricts water flow. And on the package, it does say that it may contain lead. Rather than risking our, our health, we decided to go the most economical route where we won't have to replace it in the future. We can just pull it apart and clean it. This is our new water pressure regulator. This is a Watts LFN 45BM1-U. This is preset at 50 PSI and has a much higher flow rate than our old water pressure regulator. This one is residential. It can be pulled apart and cleaned and should give us a long service life. We use the typical Camco RV water filter. These are good filters, but I'm still looking for something better. You can see we are not leaking at any of the joints. So we changed the plan a little bit from what we, we did earlier. If you remember the 90 was on the top of the pressure regulator here. We separated it and the regulator is going to be on the, uh, uh, the supply side and then the 90 just to, to so that way the water hose isn't going straight into the side of the house it'll it'll dangle down the side of the house nicely like it should be so we are going to wipe them down and then wrap them with the uh, we'll start out with the foam we will start the the first layer wrapping with, with this foam foil back foam and then we will do a couple layers of tin foil, then the the heat wrap, and then the uh, the, the pipe, the tube, the foam pipe tube insulation. Yeah. So some people may believe this is a little bit overkill, but the purpose behind this foil back foam is so that way the plastic filter doesn't get too hot from the, the heat tape so it doesn't melt or deform or cause a leak in, in any way it, this is the safest way that I can do it and I don't see any way that this heat tape is going to get the filter too hot so I have wiped down the filter we will start with first wrapping it with this foil back foam and we will go from there. Okay. So we wrapped the whole thing with the, the foil back foam and we used electrical tape in a few spots to secure the ends. And then we're going to do a layer of uh, a couple layers of tin foil. The reason for the tin foil is more as kind of just a safety barrier. Than, than anything. I think the foil back foam will be enough because the foil back foam is designed to be used as a, as a heat tape wrap and as a pipe wrap but we're just going just that extra bit for safety. So that's and I want to say it's five layers of tin foil it might be four it might be six but there's a bunch of layers of tin foil just to 
help dissipate the heat and I did pressure test the, this whole thing earlier there was no leaks or anything and so I feel pretty confident with it okay. yeah okay so we have it wrapped with with the heat tape and then I completely wrapped it all with the electrical tape I just I don't see any way that this heat tape is going to damage any part of this or cause a leak. I will keep an eye on it throughout the, the winter as I, as I do with, with everything around the house and we will maintain it as needed but I don't think I'm going to need to do anything with this throughout the whole winter. Okay, now on to the next layer, the outer insulation layer. Well, there's the finished product. Now, to go through it all, it is a plastic water filter and a residential water pressure regulator with, with the adapters to adapt it to a garden hose. The first layer around the plastic water filter is foil, the foil backed foam uh, tape that is for the electric heat wraps. And then there's a couple layers of tin foil, then the heat wrap, then another layer of the, fo the foam backed foil tape, and then the black um, half inch thick pipe wrapping, and then over top of all of it is a wrapping of Gorilla Tape. So, I think it looks pretty good. I think it's going to be perfect. I don't think we're going to have any problems with it. I don't think it's going to cause any separation or melting of the filter. And it's pleasing to the eye. So, that's that piece. And then our 90 doesn't even look like a 90 anymore. It's just like a big <laughs> ball. <laughs> But it's got the foil wrapped back, the the tin foil backed foil wrap tape, the half inch thick pipe wrapping, and then a layer of gorilla tape over top of all of it. So we'll let you know how it works, but I don't think we're gonna have any problems. <laughs> <laughs>